first off I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for not uploading guys I have been super busy this summer it's been really crazy and I just wanted to get into this game named Worlds Adrift so basically if you guys don't know I did do some videos on this game in the past on my channel and I was talking about how it would be really good and stuff and I actually did get one of the keys to be able to play the game in the closed beta access they were all sold out within the first two days of the sales and this game is really fun basically what you do is you go to different islands and such and you try to get knowledge build your ship up and go past the three walls there is a wind wall a storm wall and the sand wall and past these walls you'll find different biomes holding different knowledge and you know different lore that you can actually find while this game is sort of glitchy at times as you can see like it's kind of hard to master the grappling hook and everything it is so fun especially whenever you have somebody to play it with and this is a hammerhead ship that I actually built with my friend named barbecue boy and we've been playing this game quite a bit but here recently I you know I live streamed and then I live streamed again today and we actually lost our ship. I, I don't know what happened to the engines in the ship, but I think somebody either took them off. But it was like in the air and everything was destroyed. And I found myself in the middle of like a storm wall. And I don't know for sure what happened, but I'll try to talk to my friend, you know, see, what, see what's going on. But this game is so fun. If you actually have a friend to play with it and actually you can make a crew, I think it's one of the best, if not the best, pirate game out there. And I know some of you are going to be like, hey, it's not really about pirating it's about exploring but a lot of people you know they find pvp fun in this game i actually accidentally well here's the situation there's this youtuber named igp and he's got like 400,000 subscribers i accidentally sh like i killed him right because my friend trip that we, we it was in my crew said he was chasing him around trying to kill him i thought so i went and helped trip out and we killed him I, he raged it's pretty funny if you want to go check out that video i'm in it it's, it's kind of hilarious, but I just want to say this game is beautiful guys All the graphics and the indie art that they put into this game like the different runes that you can find and you can you know attach your knowledge uh, Stick thing to and actually figure out like the different lore and stuff that they put behind the game It's so fun and you can actually read different log books and stuff whenever you find them in these uh, loot crates that pop up after a storm on an island like there will be a thunderstorm on an island and all these crates will actually pop up and the resources will be you know you know uh, replenished and stuff like that in the game what you're really going to be doing the most of is mining for like uh, like wood and stones and uh, like different ores and fuel to actually upgrade your ship and make it awesome and you can build some crazy looking ships it actually uses like a 3d grid based uh, building system to where you build the frame and then you place all your objects on the ship and we built a huge hammerhead ship and if you guys want me to put like like when this game comes out and mo more of y'all get it if you guys want me to put it like make like a I don't know some sort of uh, beginner's guide to it I will because the game was so hard for me to learn out like in the beginning because you everything is based on like the knowledge you get right and you have to you have to gain knowledge to learn different schematics and so you can build stuff on your ship and build engines and wings and sails and stuff like that and basically everything you can gain knowledge from whether it be runes or different like weird shaped rocks and stuff like that and this is like the knowledge gaining and stuff like that and there's also a wing glider suit that you can actually get uh, at some point I don't I haven't found one yet but I think it would I think it'd be so fun to just mess around with and fly to different islands I guess if you get enough uh, enough like height on the airspeed and I'm just gonna say that I really enjoy this game and if you, if anybody has the opportunity to get a key and play it's super fun it's really hard to kind of learn in the first part but for an indie game they really hit the spot with this one guys and it's it's not a lot either like no man's sky i thought it was going to be really good and i thought this was going to turn into no man's sky because it, you know it didn't it looked like just one of those you know indie friendly exploration games but no there's pvp there's a massive amount of players on one server at once because they're using spatial os as this you know the server system that they're that they're actually working with and that's what identity rpg is going to be using and Honestly, this it's really fun. I recommend it to anybody who wants to actually, you know, try to find a key. And there are some people that are selling the keys for like 80 bucks. 
and uh yeah guys if you guys get this game you know just add me and i'll play with you guys all anybody who watches the video i can uh, add you to my crew and we can you know we can bull around and stuff like that and i'll add you to the discord also and then we can you know uh talk on discord instead of having to type in the chat because i don't think there is voice in the game yet because i haven't been able to find it also a quick suggestion to the developers if they are watching this i doubt that they will but please add a third person ship flying mechanic because sometimes it's just it's really hard to drive in the in the first person uh where, where you have to you know see everything also a quick tip to you guys whoever is you know starting out on the game you guys you don't have to put your uh, wings in a certain spot. They help whether or not, like, wherever you have them on your ship. We covered the wings up, and they still helped on our hammerhead ship build. And if you want to get through some of these walls, that's what you're going to need to do so that they don't take as much damage. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and I'm super sorry once again that I have not been able to post. Make sure you go ahead and, you know, subscribe, comment what your name is on the game, what you're going to make your name. If you're going to get the game, comment. Make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.